Although there are three different methods to prepare or construct an ellipse, so I'll be starting off with this guy that is oblong method. And the question is like this draw an ellipse with 125 mm and 75 mm as major and minor axis by oblong method. Fine. So we have this 125 mm as major axis and 75 mm as minor axis. So let us draw this major axis horizontally 125 mm. Now through this center we will have this minor axis. Okay, the whole total length of minor axis is given as 75. That means it is going to be 37.5 above. And uh, from this point over here, it is going to be 37.5 below. 37.5 below. Okay, so that's what you call the skeleton of our ellipse. Alright, so that's our ellipse. And uh, let's now give it some names. A. Um, I shall write it over as B. This over here is what you call D and this is C. So these are the four extreme points of ellipse. So this, these two extreme points A and B correspond to major axis. This two extreme, uh, these two extreme points C and D correspond to minor axis. Now the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll enclose this in a rectangle. All right, some kind of a rectangle line. Uh, you can actually keep your mini drafter along this line AB. Make sure it is absolutely horizontal, then tighten the screw. Then you can move ahead and then again draw a line over here, over here. Right. Then <coughs> you can move vertically now. You can uh, you can keep your mini drafters along this vertical line, then tighten the screw, then shift your drafter towards its uh, B point, then again draw a line again to this point and again draw a line. Fine. So that's what you call a rectangle. Okay, and in this rectangle, we'll be inscribing an ellipse. Now, how are we going to do that? That is something uh, which I'll tell you. Okay, now you see this, this point over here is what I call point O, the center of the ellipse. Now, this line over here, AO line, I'm going to divide this line into four equal parts. And I'm going to divide this line over here, this vertical line. Let me highlight this a bit into four equal parts. If you are doing five equal parts of this line, then make sure that you are doing five equal parts of this line also. Right now, remember, if I do n parts, then I'll get n minus one points. For example, if I do four parts of this line, OA line and four parts of this line, I'll be getting three different points for constructing my ellipse. Right. And uh, let us do this construction quickly. Now. As you can see, I have placed uh, four points equally spaced one centimeter apart at any suitable inclination, right? Now, I'm going to put my mini drafters over here at the four point, fourth point, and then I'm going to join it with the end of this line, this line over here, OA line, okay? Make sure your drafter is aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the third point, draw a line. Then to the two second point, draw a line, then to the first point, then again draw a line. You'll eventually have this line divided into four equal parts and it should look something like this. All right, so the line has been divided into four equal parts. Now let's focus our attention towards this line over here. So we are going to divide this into four equal parts again. How can we do that? Uh, for that, we need to do make four points at any suitable angle, equally spaced one centimeter apart or even half centimeter apart. It's uh, absolutely up to you. Okay, my idea is to not waste enough space, right, for constructions. So let us put four points. Now guys, you can see I have put four points over here. Now we're gonna join this fourth point with the end of this line. Make sure your drafters are along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to the third point. Same old stuff, all right? From the third point, you need to draw a line, second and then one. It should finally uh, become divided into four equal parts. That's it guys, that's exactly what I was talking about and uh, let us name these points is 3 dash. Alright, okay that's uh, that's all as far as uh, division of lines is concerned and the next thing is to join this point C with lines, C join C with 1, join C with 2, 1 dash, 2 dash, join C point with 3 dash also. The next thing that we'll be doing is joining lines from D to 1. Please, uh, please look at this carefully. Then from D to 2. 
and then from D till 3 okay now this line over here 1 has to be extended up to this line that is C1 dash for that it should look something like this so this is your point P1 all right of your ellipse <coughs> secondly this line which has started from D and it is passing to it should end somewhere around here right and finally it would should look something like this this is going to be point p2 similarly you have this line passing through 3 and this line connecting 3 dash and c dash uh, c 3 dash and c sorry mm, on extending it should reach somewhere here so this is point p1 p2 and p3 all right now <coughs> you can apply the same construction here also okay divide this line into four equal parts over here you need to make again make four equal parts and keep on joining lines these uh, these lines also same old stuff what I'll be doing is I'll be shifting these points below make sure your drafters are absolutely set all right like this and then finally we have from this okay now make sure you you keep your rounder over here take this arc this is P1 this is P2 this is P3 ok guys the next step is to take arcs and we have to take this as center ok so this is going to be our arc and we are going to shift this arc down below taking this as center all right that's it so this is going to be the mirrored image of a point p1 so you can write here p1 dash similarly we're going to take another arc with this as center and this all right so this is the arc that we had put up and we're going to shift this arc down below okay this height above is going to be the height below all right so let us do this that's it this is going to be our point p2 dash and finally we have this line over here with this as center this point as center look at the cursor and this as radius we again have ourselves an arc this arc I'm going to shift this arc down below that's it now you guys can see uh, these these three points which I've got right now are absolutely the mirrored images of these two points above above the line OE all right now the next thing to do is you can do the same thing horizontally also okay you can mirror these points horizontally also and it should finally look something like this I'll show you how it should look that's exactly what I was talking about all right um, for doing so you can actually keep keep on drawing all these so-called horizontal lines okay then you to need to place one leg of your rounder over here and this should be the distance then you can take this as center then put an arc then from here to here you know the stuff last thing is to draw an ellipse you need to join all these points and make an ellipse that's it okay and it should look something like this I'll show you how it will look that's it that's exactly how your ellipse is going to look like okay so this is what you call the oblong method of construction of an ellipse ellipse by oblong method oblong method is a special method for drawing an ellipse after reading the problem if the given data is major axis length and minor axis length then you can choose this method if the given data is uh, eccentricity and distance between the directrix and focus, you can go for the general method. Now let us start drawing the ellipse using the oblong method. First step is draw the major axis with the given length. Call the major axis as AB. Next locate the midpoint of the major axis 
and name it as O. Then draw a perpendicular to AB at point O with minor axis length and name this as CD. That means this CD length is 15. From O, this is 25, this is 25. OC is 25, OD is 25. Draw a line parallel to AB passing through C like this. Draw one more line parallel to AB and passing through D like this. Then here draw a line parallel to CD passing through A. Here draw another line parallel to CD passing through B. Then automatically you will get a rectangle like this. This rectangle length is length of the major axis and width is length of the minor axis. Then these corners you name as EF, GH. Then divide this AE into 4 equal parts. Here to divide this into 4 equal parts you can use the inclined line method. After dividing this into 4 equal parts you can erase that inclined line. Finally we require 4 equal parts like this here. Name them as 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Then divide AO also into 4 equal parts. Whatever number of divisions you are taking here in between AE, same number of divisions you have to consider in between AO. That means AE and AO you have to divide into same number of equal divisions. Here you have to give the numbering like this 1, 2, 3. That means while giving the numbering you have to assume this point A as origin. If this is origin you will get 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash etc. And here you will get 1, 2, 3 like this. Then draw a line joining C1 dash, C2 dash and C3 dash. Something like this you have to draw 3 lines. After that draw a line joining D1 and extend this D1 line until it touches the C1 dash line like this. Now this intersection point you call as some P1. Then repeat the same procedure with respect to other 2 and 3 points. Draw a line joining D2 extend it until it touches the C2 dash line this intersection point is P2. Then draw a line joining C3 and extend it until it touches C3 dash line. This intersection point is P3. Okay. If you join A, P1, P2, P3 and C, we will get one fourth of the ellipse. We have to repeat the same procedure at the remaining three areas. Here some people follow some shortcut method by taking symmetric lines. Don't follow that concept. If you follow that concept, that is the symmetricity concept, you are not following the oblong method. Also at remaining these three areas also, you have to follow the same oblong method. Now divide this AF into four equal parts. Name here something like this. This is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Because A is origin, you will get the numbers increasing order like this. Because this is origin. From origin onwards, numbers will go on increasing. That's why. Next step is draw the line joining D1 dash D draw a line joining D1 dash then draw a line joining C1 and extend it then automatically here you will get Q1 then draw a line joining D2 dash then from C2 you draw a line and extend this until it touches this D2 dash line this point is Q2 then draw a line joining D3 dash from C3 draw a line and extend it until it touches this line. This is Q3. Then draw a smooth curve passing through all these points. Then one half of the ellipse is completed. At this side also you have to follow the same procedure. Now divide this BH into 4 equal parts. Now B is the origin that's why you will get the increasing order of the numbering like this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Here you have to divide this OB into same number of equal parts 4. Here B is the origin that's why you will get the increasing order like this 1, 2, 3. Then draw a line joining C1 dash. Then draw a line joining D1 and extend it until it touches the C1 dash line. This is P1 point. Then draw a line joining C2 dash. Then draw a line D2 and extend it. This is P2. Then draw a line joining C3 dash. 
here d3 line you join and extend it this is p3 then you will get this portion of the ellipse repeat the same procedure here this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash d1 dash c1 and extend here you will get q1 then d2 dash c2 extend it this is q2 then d3 dash c3 extend it this is q3 then draw a smooth curve joining these points in this way you can complete the ellipse using the oblong method